First time. Hello folks, welcome back to our channel. Today we are discussing the celebrities that tried to warn us about James Franco. In this video, we are going to tell you about who tried to warn James. Without wasting your precious time, let's get started. James Franco It ought to have been an unadulterated snapshot of a win for James Franco. He gathered one of Hollywood's top prizes at Golden Globe Awards on Sunday, approving an untraditional vocation in which he's been a bankable driving man, Ivy League scholar and unconventional author. Be that as it may, as he remained on the dance hall stage, some were focusing harder on the Times Up nail to his lapel than the gold sculpture he got for his chance in The Disaster Artist. It resembled a smack in my face, said Sarah Ty the Kaplan, a previous acting understudy at the film school Franco established, who proceeded to show up in a few of his creations. Tytha Kaplan is one of five ladies who, in interviews with The Times, blamed Franco, 39, of conduct they discovered to be improper or physically shady. Four were his understudies, and another said he was her guide. Now and again, they said they trusted Franco could offer them professional success and submitted to his desires in any event, when they were awkward. One of the numerous ladies who took to Twitter on Sunday night to vent indignation regarding Franco's success with his help of Time's Up, the drive battling sexual offense in Hollywood. She revealed to the Times that in a naked blowout scene she recorded with Franco and a few ladies three years prior, he eliminated defensive plastic gatekeepers covering other entertainers' vaginas while recreating oral sex on them. Two other understudy entertainers additionally related negative on-set encounters. Both said Franco lost control when no ladies, while at the shoot, would consent to be topless. Franco's lawyer, Michael Plonska, questioned the entirety of the ladies' charges and guided the Times to Franco's remarks Tuesday night on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. See, in life, we have a value assuming liability for things that I have done, he told Colbert. I need to do that to keep up my prosperity. The things that I heard on Twitter are not exact. Be that as it may, I support individuals coming out and having an option to have a voice since they didn't have a voice for such a long time. So I would prefer not to close them down in any capacity. An inventive power in Hollywood, with standing for being relentless, Franco has acted in a few striking movies and TV shows over his 20-year profession. They incorporate oddities and geeks, Pineapple Express and 127 Hours, which got him an Oscar assignment for a lead entertainer. He coordinated scenes of HBO's The Deuce, on which he presently stars in two driving jobs, playing twins and filling in as a maker on movies and TV shows including The Interview and the Hulu arrangement 11-22-63. His partiality for handling startling tasks, combined with a productive, hard-working attitude, has become part of his Hollywood persona. Throughout the most recent decade, He's coordinated more than two dozen low-spending, non-mainstream highlights and shorts, composed books, and surprisingly turned his experience co-featuring on drama General Hospital into a display at the Museum of Contemporary Art. In 2014, he dispatched a film school, Studio 4 in Los Angeles and New York, where he instructed and tutored many hopeful entertainers and movie producers. The two areas unexpectedly shut the previous fall. Franco has likewise stood out for dubious conduct via web-based media. In 2014, he utilized Instagram to ask a 17-year-old British young lady he'd meet outside a New York theater if she had a sweetheart and whether she was 18. Even in the wake of learning her age, he requested the name of her lodging and if he should lease a room. After that scene got public, Franco apologized on ABC's Live with Kelly and Michael. I'm humiliated and I suppose I'm simply a model of how online media is precarious," he said. We utilized terrible judgment and I took in my exercise. Instructor Understudy Communications Before opening Study 4, Franco educated at Playhouse West in North Hollywood, a school where he'd got preparing as an entertainer. Two of his previous understudies there said he put female understudies in awkward circumstances past the ordinary boundaries of acting class. Hilary Dusum, 33, who took a class from Franco in 2012, 
said that from the start she discovered him to be a truly liberal soul, anxious to help to strive for entertainers. Her sentiments moved subsequently to being chosen to show up with a modest bunch of other female understudies in what she thought was one of Franco's craft films. Natalie Chamel, the other understudy, said she was told the recording would be utilized in a seven for all mankind pants scene. The two ladies portrayed what they viewed as an amateurish and unfriendly take on shots at a strip club. Halfway through shooting, Duzum and Franco moved toward the entertainers who wore covers and underwear and asked, things being what they are, who needs to take your shirt off? At the point when no entertainers chipped in, Franco stomped off, Duzum reviewed. I felt like I was chosen for something dependent on my persistent effort and my legitimacy. And when I understood it was because I have decent breasts, it was quite certain that was not the situation. Stories from Studio 4 Franco dispatched Studio 4 out of 2014 in relationship with Playhouse West, broadly the home of the late actor mentor Sanford Meisner. The North Hollywood School opened first, the New York City station before long. The vast majority of the classes were not instructed by Franco, who was additionally shuffling scholarly obligations at USC, UCLA and Cal Arts, notwithstanding a bustling film plan. More than 12 previous understudies disclosed to the Times in interviews that they had a positive involvement with Studio 4, where students were at first charged a month-to-month -month educational cost of $300. Many said they were stunned by the school's abrupt conclusion the previous fall and didn't have the foggiest idea why it had been covered. Something that made Studio 4 not quite the same as other acting schools, Franco guaranteed, was its capacity to pipe promising ability into the entertainer's task. Undoubtedly, the school's presently shut site said that Franco and his creation organization, Rabbit Bandini Productions, would cast jobs straightforward from his classes and will include his understudies in an assortment of his film and workmanship projects. Yet, a few understudies said that these parts were once in a while distributed to individuals in the classes. La Bella said she and her schoolmates transferred tryouts to a site. However, nobody she knew at any point heard back. Katie Ryan, who met Franco at Playhouse West and took a few classes at Studio 4, said the entertainer would consistently make everyone think there were potential parts on the table if we somehow happen to perform sexual demonstrations or remove our shirts in his activities. She said that for quite a long time, she got mass email demands from Franco to try out for jobs playing a whore or a prostitute. Vance Jolibet, co-proprietor of Rabbit Bandini, which ran Studio 4, said in a proclamation given by Franco's lawyer that the school was constantly run expertly. Our educators were phenomenal. Understudy input was positive, he said, noticing that they were exploring grumblings about the school that are conflicting with the mission. A few understudies showed up in Rabbit Bandini creations. In 2015, the organization arranged with computerized merchant maker studios who debut two unique arrangements brought forth from Studio 4. One of the undertakings was a docu-arrangement that went in the background of Franco's sex scenes Ace Class, which showed understudies the crafts of being personal on camera. According to my shoes here in the world, people are being involved in other lives. It is becoming more common now, but if the person is a celebrity, then it would be an issue in the overall world. Then everyone talks about their life activities which are going on. There are so many that he has to like that. However, it is the director called to do like that, but the news came out that James Franco has abused a girl by asking sex in the public. So that doesn't justify their life's matter by not knowing the information. Because it is not the way they get out the information to the public. We contend that Franco's work in rejecting stable definition and testing conventional ideas of creative quality communicates an interest with disappointment that takes on unequivocally eccentric repercussions in its guidance of over-creation, sabotaging standard standards of accomplishment and connecting a sort of imaginative indiscrimination to his own exhibitions of manliness. James has an exceptionally habit-forming nature. James needed to attempt to do however much James could deal with and furthermore make motion pictures that the studios had no interest in making. 
Remaining occupied was additionally my method of not managing analyses, since I would as of now be chipping away at the following undertaking. Presently, I need to attempt to hinder a piece and work just on projects that are truly significant to James truly love. Franco needs to do fewer undertakings now and invest more energy going further into the tales James attempts to tell. So this is all for this video. We hope that this video was informative and useful. See you folks in the next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe and sound. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click a bell icon to get notifications and stay in tune.